All right, so I've got 5% battery life left here. Let's do a quick and dirty video of doing a rehone using a flex hone. Talk about the grit. It's 240 grit. Uh, let's see, it's uh, aluminum dioxide, I believe is what it's called. It's aluminum something. So anyway, here's the, let's see. Here's a VX110 cylinder, FXHO, FX140, same, same thing, except for the diameter of the FX140 is a little narrower. So here's the difference between when that's cleaned up. <clears throat> and then here's the next one. Let's see. Let's say this is about the, which one's the worst? I would say this one's probably the worst one. So let's do this end here. So you can see the uh, imperfections there. It just looks like trash. So I'm going to do that. We got the uh, this outside. We're going to do this one. I got the flex hone. It's been pre-lubed. I dumped a bunch of uh, 10W30 <coughs> on the um, on the bowls. <laughs> Let's uh, get this set up. All right. So the drill that you're using should have between uh, 600 and 1,000 RPMs on it. I've got this set, uh, 18 volt. Uh, I can't remember brand this is. Shit. Port a cable or something set on the high speed so we're gonna uh start it up before we get down in there it's gonna spew oil all over the place i'm gonna do 30 rotations while plunging it at a pretty good uh clip and then i'm gonna reverse it and plunge at 30 and then we'll look at the the uh the inside to see how clean it is All right, notice I pulled it all the way out at the end. Make sure and do that. Start it up. This is in reverse. Okay, I think that was 30 each way. And I'll say I cleaned it up pretty good except for, here's a good part. pretty good except on this part here there's some residual whatever from where the i don't know if you can see there or not i don't have my good readers on so i'm going to hit it again with another 20 in each direction try to knock this down just a little bit more these are nicosil so you know you're not going to do a whole lot of damage to these anyway but there's a little bit more imperfection you can just feel you can't catch it with a fingernail but i'm going to finish it off and so i did 22 more rotations on each direction and I'm pretty pleased with the results. I mean, you're talking two minute time investment per cylinder. So I would say if you're putting together a motor, I mean, just well worth it. You see a little bit of grit left on this wall right here. I got to, you know, rinse these out with soap water. <clears throat> you want to take the electronics off and soak this whole thing in salt wa soap water before you're all done here to put it back together.